What's good, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Tapping back in with another one, y'all. We got some news, a uh, little update. R.I.P. Young Dolph. As always, got to put that out there off the rip. Um, Kinfo Kia Shine. I'm sure y'all remember a Memphis artist. Had some bangers back in the day. So crispy. So crispy. Y'all remember that one? And wow. I don't know. I was flucking with Kia Shine, but um, that's besides the point. But let me know in the comments if y'all rocked with him. But uh, since the passing of uh, Young Dolph, um, you know, Kia Shine has been tapping in regularly, you know, not just paying his respects to the legend, you know, uh, Young Dolph and wanting uh, Young Dolph to live on and all that. He's been speaking a lot about Memphis, you know what I'm saying? All the violence and it just how tough it is as an MC uh, to come out of there, you know, the the success, what comes with it, you know what I mean? But anyways, he, he's got this uh, post I want to share with y'all regarding straight drop, seeing uh, the court, and uh, let's see what he's talking about, man. What is Steve like in prison without the possibility of parole? You've also indicted Mr. Johnson. Good morning, sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson, in that indictment 2103333, you are indicted for the same similar conduct, rather. Let me rephrase that. As um, in 2200014, rather, you're indicted for the same conduct as your co defendant, Mr. Cornelius Smith, count one charge for first degree murder. Again, a character sentence of life in prison is convicted. Uh, life in, under Tennessee law, Mr. Johnson, is uh, construed to be 60 calendar years. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 way. All right, so y'all see the post there. Um, You heard... Uh, the the court proceedings uh first we caught the the tail end of cornelius smith i believe um his his uh court date or whatever but then we heard straight drop and i i, I want to you know the the indictment you're on indicted on this that y'all heard the charges and all that um a straight drop if you guys recall was putting posts out i, I didn't understand that man and, you know, you know, there's something very, very odd about this individual. Hit the comments, y'all, and let me know what y'all think. You know what I mean? Where he was putting videos out, like, as he was on the run and, and wanted and everything like that. And, you know, he put out he put out the post saying, oh, I'm going to turn myself in, which, you know, it was all some fluckery and BS just to try and buy himself a little time. But we seen the authorities was up on that. You know what I mean? They weren't really in the whole you know, since Young Dolph's passing, they were uh, very quiet about everything as far as the investigation, you know, not really putting out a lot in press releases, but they were on it, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, word had leaked out of straight drop, um, you know, how he got out of jail so quick on a very serious case, you know what I mean? And there was a, a lot of talk going around, yo, this guy cooperated with the feds before and then Straight Drop wanted everyone to know that he'd be right out. He's innocent. He's going to turn himself in and all that. Um, but then he's dropping diss tracks that uh, that that track hawk or whatever the fuck that was called, um, you know, had some lyrics in there that were very disrespectful to Dolph, but also were just almost an admission of guilt, in my opinion. Y'all comment and let me know what you guys think. But it was just so odd, that video that he put out where there was that attorney or judge or whoever in the fuck that was talking about how they let him out so early. He 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 did the court a favor and, and, and was like, yo, I'll plead guilty. We ain't even got to go through all this. And then he was a model prisoner. And, you know, it, it just was very bizarre to me. But Straight Drop wanted everyone to know, yo, I'm not a snitch. Any case I caught, the case got thrown out or I did my time like a G, you know what I mean? And uh, you see in this video that Kim Folk Kia Shine is uh, resharing, it has uh, that mouse on the, like, what did it say, mouse guard or whatever? I don't know. I, I You know, that is 
definitely aimed at straight drop, calling him a snitch right there at Mouse Guard. I don't know. This whole situation is very bizarre with straight drop, um, with the whole federales situation and all that. But anyways, he says, long live young Dolph. You see at the top, it says this, not P. Um, the caption, he says, long live young Dolph. What happened to being out faster than we could blink? Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. You take that life, you're going to have to take that life sentence. Was it worth it? Generations in the lives of so many people have been affected by the actions of these young men. All the spinning and big stepping on ops sound good in them songs. But this is real life. And you took a real life. Man, um... Well put by uh, Kim Folk, Kia Shine, in my opinion. Y'all comment and let me know what you guys think. But for real, like, it just shows the mentality of a lot of these cats coming up nowadays. You know what I mean? I don't want to sound like some old, old head. Just like, y'all you, you, know what I'm talking about, right? How a lot of times they say the old heads be like, oh, these, these, crazy, these crazy cats coming up, they're just, it don't make sense. But for real, I just don't understand this whole, like, um like uh, posting things online that like you know about bodying people and all that and like it's like I, I don't know it's just it's just all so ass backwards man in my opinion you know what I mean and it's like I always point out that with the internet it seems like people lose touch with reality and it's like like this with this cat you know what I mean when he was on the run he wanted to post that video and everything and get his little 15 minutes of fame and it's like yo you're about to lay it down for a for real serious bid like was that worth it like Kim Folk Kia Shine just said in that in that post there like was it really worth it I, I just don't understand it man but let's see what they're talking about in the comments y'all make sure to jump in the comments on this video let's talk as always you know what I'm saying Jay Coffee talks all about hearing what the people got to say so definitely tap in um Missy or Miss Yeah Ho, I'm not even sure uh, who that is. I, I'm not familiar with that Instagram account. It says, say that again, Shine. Um, fact, Shine. Uh, I want to know who sent them or was this much hate in their hearts. And uh, yeah, I, I want to know as well, guys. A lot of different theories floating around on what, tra like what had transpired that led to them killing young Dolph. Um, so many different theories but always guys don't get caught up in the theories and everything you know pay attention to all the info coming out break it down analyze it you know what i mean and and uh take from it what you will but don't get caught up in a lot of the wild narratives out there you know what i'm saying um let's see what else word rest up dolph that's law brody you spoke all truth long live dolph uh speak on that shit Let's just hope they got the right folks because it's still people out there that love them too. Uh, Kia Shine said, yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, based on straight drop, the, the, that video that he wanted to put out and everything, I don't know, man. Like, it seemed to me almost he was bragging of this. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it don't make sense with a, with a lot of these cats coming up. They want to brag about things online that'll get you, like, 20 plus years maybe a life sentence you know what i mean I, shit is just very very bizarre to me um boy who money was you stunting with in them videos i'm just proud they were actually found in charge they finna figure out the true meaning of out of sight out of mind damn that's some cold shit right there but yeah it's gonna be rough for them right what do y'all think it's gonna be rough for them on the inside um, but yeah, as that other individual a comment, I read a couple comments uh, back. Like, was it just hate? Who sent them? Uh, what's really be behind this whole situation? All right, P. Young Dolph, hate to see it just lost. Ain't no way I would have done this for dude. Extremely sad, unacceptable. We got to do better. All right, P. Dolph, what if he ain't do it though? Um, and then what someone say? There wouldn't be charges if there wasn't tangible evidence. You can only be held for 72 hours without it. They have proof, which is why he's still in custody. Uh, Kia Shine said, then watch the end of my video. He gonna tell who did. 
Uh, someone said, wait, what? He telling on the person who really did this? Shaking my head. This looking real bad. And for what? Too sad. Uh, not true. I've been living here all my life. They go by here, say, in Memphis. Google it. So uh, this individual is saying that, you know, he's seen some cases where they don't have all their ducks in a row, so to speak, with the evidence. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? You know what I mean? Like I said, the law enforcement has been very quiet with uh, the investigation, but um, I don't know. I Like, a, like do y'all think he was bragging about it in that song? What, what do y'all think? I don't know. Um, I don't have to Google it. I'm telling you what I know. In a case as high profile as this one here saying circumstantial evidence won't hold up. I'm a natis, native Memphian. Memphian. I never heard that term, right? Like you ever heard? I remember some years back when uh, some, I forget what was going on in L.A. But someone was like, I'm a native Los Angelino. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I mean, that's the proper terminology, but it's just kind of bugged out to hear sometime. You know, it's not something you really hear uh, referred to much. But what do y'all think about that, too? Um, oh, hold on. Um, I'm getting off track, y'all. Apologies. Uh, they said, I have a sibling who are federal criminal attorneys in Memphis. I can assure you that this is locked up. Uh, this individual says, indictment means a prosecutor takes a case in front of a grand jury the grand jury meets and listens to the prosecutor who must establish probable cause for the indictment to proceed. The prosecutor will put forth evidence and may even present witnesses to support an indictment. The grand jury can question the witnesses, although the suspect and their attorney are not allowed to do so. However, the accused individual may be allowed to testify on their own behalf at the grand jury hearing. There isn't a very high level of proof required to establish probable cause for an indictment and hearing. Uh, this is just the first step in the process and doesn't determine a person's guilt or innocence. Rather, an indictment hearing simply establishes whether the case should proceed to trial. Being indicted can in no way be used against you in a criminal trial. And uh, this individual said, okay, okay, I hear you. So... What do y'all think about that? Um, they definitely broke down the beginning stages of the legal process regarding uh, this case where, you know, it's at right now at the moment. Um, and you see someone else was commenting. Uh, Kia Shine actually responded to someone and said that they believe Straight Drop is going to get to telling about, uh, you know, who really did it if he didn't do it. And with that being said, guys, what do y'all think about this? You know, um, do you guys think they're all going to flip and get to talking? And um, I don't know, man, like what what really what really was behind all this that had to take out young Dolph? You know, a guy who, as we've pointed out many times, R.I.P. Dolph once again, long live Dolph once again. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of it like Dolph was doing a lot of good. You know what I mean? And you're going to get people that are going to say, oh, he said this or that in his music. Listen, Dolph was really trying to lead by example as far as doing good putting people on you know sharing game and um i don't know it's just very very sad right where he was killed you know makita's cookies we saw that uh you know he was going on social media and really trying to help promote that business and help support that business we heard from his high school principal you know what i mean and he wasn't just like oh yo uh I fluck with Young Dolph, R.I.P. Young Dolph. No, he said the way Dolph came back, like helped fund stuff in the school, came back and talked to the students about taking their education serious and, you know, taking pride in their community and all that. Like Dolph was really out here trying to do good, man. So with that, I'm going to close the video out. I thank y'all for watching. It's been another episode of Jay Coffee Talk. If y'all haven't done so yet, please hit them buttons for me, the like, the subscribe, the bell. Uh, we drop content every day. We talk about music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more. So stay tuned. Let's talk in the comments. And I'm gone.